Why do I keep doing this to myself? What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the sophomore effort by Megan Trainer, a pop singer who just debuted last year with her album title. If you're curious to see my thoughts on that, it's linked in the description down below. Not a fan of Megan Trainer. haven't been from the start. There's a lot of problems that I brought up in that initial review that you might want to go watch before watching this one in full. Thank You is the name of the second Megan Trainer album. Got a couple of singles off of this thing, actually a lot of singles before the album album dropped. I only allowed myself to hear two, as I almost always do, no being the first, and then it just getting excruciatingly worse with the song Watch Me Do that followed. Genuinely the worst song that I have heard all year long. Now a lot of people are expecting me to tear this entire record apart, but honestly it fared a little bit better once I actually listened to the full album. I'm not necessarily defending Miss Trainer per se, but there are some songs on here that just aren't as awful as I was expecting them to be, if that's even a backhanded compliment. On her first record it was clear that she was going for this kind of throwback vintage doo-wop 60s style, kind of with a modern twist I suppose, where she gave out lots of commands, talking about what she wanted in a husband, what people needed to do for her, and on this new one she seems to be empowering or else trying to empower all of the women around her and the women in her life with songs like Woman Up which are just insanely annoying with an absolutely awful ear piercing chorus, and then other moments like Me Too which seem to be about self love which can be a great thing in moderation, not being a total fucking narcissist. Me Too has a nice enough bass line on it. I like the groove. There's a lot of 90s feels, kind of throwing it back to some older pop stylings on tracks like that. And I Love Me with Lunch Money Lewis, who I was kind of excited to see what he would do on this record. Uh, unfortunately, both of these songs are completely squandered with decent instrumentals and horrible lyrics. Megan boasts all over Me Too. It's got this running bass line, which I just can't help but feel was ripped from something else, just like straight copy and pasted, I know I've heard it somewhere before. It's just got this insanely repetitive, I'd wanna be me too. And on I Love Me, it's just got one of these choruses that once again beats you over the head with the fact that this is the hook. That's not how you present a good pop hook, Megan Trainer. You showcase it in some of your songs that you actually know what you're doing, like I'm Gonna Lose You on your first album. And here on this new one, there's a couple of decent songs, especially near the end of this LP as well, that showcase that you know you're Way around a pop song. I won't let you down, pretty much formulaic, but at the same time it gets the job done. It's more than serviceable and it actually comes across with a chorus that's more than impactful on a just it's stuck in my head type of way. I feel like Megan contradicts herself a lot on this record with the lead single being a track like No, which is basically a stay the hell away from me. Why would you ever approach me in the club type jam? She comes across with songs like Hopeless Romantic, showcasing that she just is looking for love, but then she talks about not wanting or needing a man on the track, no, and then we go to later in the album when we get the track, Just a Friend, which is just so ridiculously sappy. It seems like the dude from Dear Future Husband that might have been chasing after her ran the hell away because he realized that she'd be crazy, and then uh, now she's chasing after him and saying, you know, you'll only talk to me in private, and you'll only do this with me in private, or you're nice to me here, why can't we be like this all the time, just a friend, and it comes across as just so ridiculously like left field like I'd never buy this in a million years. I mean, I understand that looking at it in the context of a song, it's okay, it's not universally bad, and I could say that for a lot of this record. I don't necessarily hate these songs in and of themselves, it's just the attitude that goes with it that I can't stand. Watch Me Do is of course the worst song on this LP. I don't think that's even arguable. I watched some of her fans trying to defend that in my track reaction and just, Nobody had justification there. There's stupid pop songs, and then there's ones that just should not exist, and Watch Me Do falls into that category. Another one of those would probably be the track with Yo Gotti, which just seems like a weird feature. It's like, hey, he had a minor hit in the form of Down in the DM, and then he got that remix with Nicki Minaj. He's fresh off of that. Let's throw him on that Megan Trainer record. Back half of this record, not bad. I'm gonna admit that right now. I like some of the tracks here. Champagne Problems, which closes out the standard edition, which is what I'm covering here today. Catchy pop 
pop song. A lot of fun there. Even Dance Like Your Daddy. I think that it's falling into this trying to be a dance trend, and I think that it's going to get played at your next nerdy aunt's wedding whenever she marries for the third time. But hey, that's just me. It's not that bad. The chorus, I get stuck in my head. It's uh, a little bit annoying, but at the same time, it's not that unwarranted. I already highlighted the track I Won't Let You Down as being a pretty good pop song. I really enjoy that one, to be quite honest. And then Kindly Calm Me Down, not bad at all either. It feels like we're getting some genuine emotion out of Miss Trainer. And if we could see more of that, I could see myself digging more of her music. Her voice is not bad, but whenever she goes into these weird sing rap things and just tries to be all commanding and making like anthems and stances on things, I get being all for feminism and that sort of thing, but there's a difference between feminism and just being a total asshole. Megan Trainer's new record for me just really isn't hitting the spot overall. I will say this, I don't hate it as much as I thought it would. Some of these tracks, annoying, just not hate-worthy in my opinion. Once again, for Megan Trainer's new record, I gave title a two. I'm going with a two for the new one, Thank You. If you've checked out Thank You, let me know your thoughts on it down below, and if you haven't, I, I don't blame you. I can't say that I was necessarily rushing to check it out, but at the same time, I know you guys would be interested to see a review. Don't forget to smash the like button while you're here. Subscribe to the channel because friends don't let friends go and subscribe. A couple of other reviews on the way this weekend. Hope you enjoyed this one. You can click right below me if you'd like to see my last Megan Trainer review or another album that I did right here on this channel. I'll see you guys right here on ARTV very, very soon.